Oh. because there's a lot of arpeggios going on in the Nolan camp at the moment and I'm giving a class tomorrow all about arpeggios but first before I wanted to show you something uh, to help you with arpeggios I just had a question for you and maybe you could answer as a comment in the comments here so here's the question how important do you think arpeggios are when improvising how important are arpeggios anyway when improvising? If you think arpeggios are like, the that's it, like the most important thing ever, then write 10, right? 10 is the most important ever. And if you think they're not important at all, arpeggios are not important, then just put a zero or a one. Um, I'd be curious to know. And personally, I know that arpeggios are really important as a kind of a bed, as a foundation that you can improvise with. But I'm not a big arpeggio guy that would have sat there for hours just going through arpeggios. For me, it's more important what you do with the arpeggios. And of course, I know arpeggios for each chord, some basic arpeggios and also arpeggios to get you a nice flavor. But it's more important what you do with the arpeggio than the arpeggio itself, if you see what I mean. And I'll be teaching this in a class tomorrow. Um, I'll be going deep into arpeggios. So if you'd like to join me, go to Live with Robin. Now, if we look at a piece like Minor Swing, right, you've got three chords, A minor, you've got D minor, and you've got E7, right? So A minor, D minor, and E7. And you can do a lot with really simple arpeggios. So for the A minor, you could literally just play these notes. the arpeggio we'll use for A minor. D minor, we're just going to go, right, D minor. For E7, we're going to use diminished. Right, diminished. And then back to the A minor. By the way, tomorrow's class, we've got a really cool PDF workbook with all the tab laid out. And as soon as you register for the class, you'll get to download that book, it's really cool. So you'll know all these fingerings. But look, so the thing is that we can all play this, right? So when it's going, that's simple. When it goes to D minor, which is gonna go, no problem. Diminished for the E7. By the way, if you use diminished for the E7, I find it, tip for using diminished. Uh, when you're playing over E7, for example, uh, before you get into the licks and the arpeggios, it's nice to see the chord that works. So there's the chord E7. Now the diminished chord that works on E7 isn't E diminished, right? E diminished is, but that's not the one that works on E7. So for E7, you've got it right here under your fingers, right? You've got E7, and then the diminished chord on the sixth fret um, that's the diminished chord you want to aim for sorry I'm seeing some comments now welcome everybody I think Morris is in Pear George hey Pear George in Spain um, I'm given a class tomorrow in the Gypsy Jazz Club uh, which is free to attend all about arpeggios if you like to go to this class get the tab workbook then just go to live with robin.com um, you can now Add up to three guests to your broadcast. Wow, that sounds cool. Um, I was talking about diminished, so you've got E7, right? And you want to get that. Right, that's the kind of most typical sound that you use on um, 
E on dominant sevenths, right? So the diminished chord is right under your finger there, right? So you've got E7 and then... Right? And then one arpeggio, which is easy, kind of... You've got the diminished shape there, right? So that works, right? Just like... And then the first arpeggio you could learn is just with the pinky. Seventh. There's the chord, there's the pinky, and then you play the arpeggio. Right, and then an even nicer way to play that would be. Right, you kind of hammer, you kind of pull off and make it legato. See that? And then down the arpeggio, then you've got. So you got right, the diminished that works over E7. And then you're back to A minor. So if I was improvising with those basic arpeggios, uh, remember A minor was just going... Right, just on the top four strings, there's the A minor shape. D minor. Right. Just using that shape for the diminished. Using that shape. Right, and I could improvise over minor swing like that. I'll start out really basic, so it would be like one, a two. Oh, look, we got a metronome. One, two, three, four. slow that down a bit. So for A minor, we're going to use, okay, D minor, right, like that, diminished for the E7, right, and etc. So minor swing, right, which is uh, A minor, A minor, A minor, D minor, D minor, D minor, E7, right. So here we go, two, a one, two, nice and slow. So, loads of space, right? There's the D minor. And I'm just using the shapes, right? These basic, this is like level one, right? On the class that I'm given tomorrow, I've got three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So the beginner etude that I've written on minor swing is literally just going like just getting your fingers getting your fingers to memorize these patterns which when you improvise in real life will give you a really good foundation to make cool solos right so basic It's really fun. So um, I want to ask the question one more time, like how important do you think arpeggios are in improvising in general? You know, maybe you think a zero, they're not important at all. Or maybe you think they're absolutely massively important. And then you put a 10. Like I said earlier, for me, I think they're really important, but I don't obsess about them. I don't sit there. I never have sat there and shredded up and down arpeggios for arpeggios sake. Um, I've learned the basic arpeggios, you know, arpeggios which fit over a minor chord, over a major chord, over a dominant seventh chord, and all the arpeggios which bring out flavors. For example, you know, when you were playing gypsy jazz, you've got that. that so you kind of be kind of useful to have a, an A minor arpeggio, which kind of goes. It brings out that sixth. Or, 
And then arpeggios which go over the dominant seventh, right? Where we mostly used diminished, right? And remember that rule, you've got your D7 chord, you've got the diminished shape. And then the arpeggio or the lick starts on right the top note of that diminished chord all the tab written out in this beautiful book we've just made which all members of the gypsy jazz club and members who enroll for this class tomorrow will download immediately and you can keep the book it's really valuable and really cool um where was it i don't know what what do you think about arpeggios like i was saying I'm not obsessed with arpeggios, but what's more important for me is how you can make music from arpeggios so they don't sound necessarily like a bunch of arpeggios. So, you know, there's a few techniques that I use. Swinging the arpeggios is massive. So instead of just going, you know, going, This is really important because we can all just go. But it sounds a bit dry and a bit kind of boring. So what I want to share with you tomorrow on the class is how to bring them to life, right? How to swing them, how to breathe, how to play in sentences. So instead of like... Instead go D minor, diminished, right, loads of space, D minor, trying to speak with arpeggios, trying to make them like a language and make them interesting to the listener. So um, recap, it's arpeggio time in the Nolan camp. And even though I'm not a massive arpeggio shredder, I think they're really important. And I want to show you how you can make music with arpeggios. And I'm giving this live class tomorrow in the Gypsy Jazz Club. It's like a workshop and uh, it's actually free to attend. If you go to that live with Robin link, you can see more information about it and you can reserve a spot there and you can download the PDF workbook and start learning them and start having fun, right? And then I'll see you uh, tomorrow in the class. It's 7 p.m. in Amsterdam, uh, which is whatever time where you are, but I'm in Amsterdam, 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, write as, a, write as a comment. I'll get in and answer all the comments and I'll just leave you with a little bit more music. Uh, I'll play along with the metronome and I uh, hope you're all doing well. Have a beautiful weekend, okay? Stay inspired. Here you go. So minor swing, A minor, D minor, E7, A minor, D minor, A minor, B flat, E7, A minor, basic. It's about arpeggios they're important and i want to show you how to have fun with them and how to use them in your solos to sound more confident and groovy so um have a look at livewithrobin.com all the info is there have a beautiful day lots of love from me stay inspired i'm still live oh sorry <laughs>